I can't vlog. I'm, I just wanted to let people know out there in one of my videos that I had, the reason why I haven't been uploading new videos or motivated to edit new video, edit my videos that I've already made is because, and, and they know who they are, but there's certain people out there that are tearing down my videos and telling me how shitty my fucking lighting is or how shitty that they can't see me and they basically make fun of how I make my videos when I work my ass off on my videos and not only do I work my ass off on my videos but I take the time to edit my videos, take the time to post them and and take the time to even make them and talk to you guys and whatnot about different things. And people just tear them down and tell me how shitty they are. And it motivates me to not want to make videos and not want to edit the videos that I've already made. And it, it doesn't make it fun. But then I watch people like the Shade Tards and CTFXC and Joey Kasefa and Tyler Oakley and all these and, and Danny Duncan and all these people making all these videos and then it motivates me I want to make those type of videos too but then I get and then I start talking to certain people and they're like your videos suck let's make a roast video and post it without permission talking shit and starting drama about your video like, that's just rude and not cool. Yeah, I don't have the best lighting, but I can't just go, Hey, Mom, we need LED lights. We don't need these orangey-looking lights. We need lights like, um, this one right here. And we need this or that, or we, you know, because then she'll look at me and be like, Why? 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 And I'd be like, and if I say just because I need more lighting in this house because I can't see when I'm doing things on the computer, blah, blah, blah. If I use that as an excuse, she'd be like, you're fine with the lights that we got. You can see fine. They cost too much. And then I'll be like, Cut. and if I say, well, because I need it for YouTube. She'd be like, oh, you're not supposed to be uploading on YouTube. Oh, you embarrass me on YouTube. Let me see your YouTube channel. Oh, these videos are embarrassing. You shouldn't be uploading these. Blah, blah. I don't want to deal with that drama with my mama. So, she, if you've been in a situation like I have on an old YouTube channel where I got stalked times and times over and over and over because when you're a teenager, you don't know better about when you say things or start drama with people, but you learn. And... When you got people babying you, you don't know what's right and what's wrong. Anyways, I don't give two shits if you can see my face or not. The point of this video is not you seeing my goddamn face so that you can criticize and judge my face and call me ugly and fat in the comment section. No, the point of this video is what I'm saying in the goddamn video. Now, if I'm showing you something like a, like a cam or, or my haul, Yes, the lighting should be good, but sometimes I don't have good lighting that I can show you good lighting. Like, I'm sorry to be rude like that, but you're motivating me not to want to do videos, not want to edit my videos because you're being that way with me, and that's not okay. In my position, where you've been around little kids your whole life and babysit them your whole life, most of your life, your mother instincts just come in and you can't help it. I start to joke around and be silly like I do at work and people are like, you can't say that, you can't do that. Oh my god, that's so gross. But yet when they do it, everyone's like, ha 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 that's so funny, LOL, ha, ooh, ooh. And then they say stuff like, rip and oof. Like, shut the fuck up. What are you, eight years old, five years old? You don't need me saying shit like that. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs>
But I was just giving you a little update, letting you know how I've been feeling and why I haven't been making the videos I'm making and why I don't edit, edit them and that sometimes when my voice is down low and you cannot hear me in the videos, I'm very, very sorry. But when I talk low, it's because I either have a mom or an older brother that are upstairs sleeping and I don't want them to hear me because then they're going to be like, why are you talking to yourself? And I don't want to deal with that whole bullshit drama. And don't make fun of me because I live with my my mother and my older brother. Maybe we live with our mom because we want to be, we, we like to have people around us. And we like to have company and we like to spend time with our family and hang out and do movie nights and watch TV. And, and when I say I can't do a call because my mother's in the fucking room, I'm not going to disrespect my mother and go, Sorry, Mom, but so-and-so wants to get on car. So I'm going to have to talk while you're trying to listen and enjoy your show. Deal with it. No, that's rude and disrespectful. I just appreciate it if you don't judge me. You don't judge others for it, so why are you judge me? What if I want to help my mother pay bills? So what? And so what that I sleep on a fucking couch? Maybe I like sleeping on the fucking couch because it's the most comfortable thing in, in the world because my bed ain't so comfortable. Later, haters! I uploaded my recent video about getting help on getting this uh, tumbler back. So I don't need to make a new tumbler for this. But all you gotta do is go to the support section and they will choose um let's see if I can find it real quick. Okay, this is the support section. Okay. And all you gotta do is go to the category and do this. And then type in what you think, tell them the problem and why you think that it was an error that they flagged it and blah blah blah. Because they have robots that do all the work. And sometimes they can make mistakes. So if you do this, help me Tumblr support thing, which I'm going to save the page so I can do it again if I need to. Um, it would really help. Then you go to here and you click, see all the ones I have, oops, right here. You click one of those that, depend on, depend on what you're talking about, your email, which I'm not going to show you. And then voila, you got it back. You got your, you, they email you, let you know the problem, and voila, you get your account back. So I got my account back, they helped me out really good with getting it back, so um, so the video that you may see in the near future, I will write on it to let you know if, it worked, if I got it back or whatever, but if you guys helped me with suggestions on a new website, thank you if you haven't yet. Please do so, because I'll still like to use it. I'm just glad this is back. Yay! Congratulations to me! And I want to change this profile to this icon picture to a really good one. So if you have a suggestion, let me know in the comments down below. And I will figure one out. Can you see how the sun is glaring on the eyes and making it look like pers little crystals? I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of neat. Okay, we're here at Savers shopping. And I found some notebooks and I found Justin Bieber. And I'm not sure if I have it, but does it really matter because it's Justin Bieber. But here's all my nephew's favorite. Planet 51, Mega Mind, Madagascar, Horton Knows a Who, Cars 1 and 2, Ice Age, and then there's Hellboy Hook. Hook. 
And then this one I've never heard of. The Princess Twins. And then there's Holes with Shia LaBeouf. Then there's... There's just tons of movies that we... Oh, Water Horse again. You already have that movie. Hey, wait, is that the Loch Ness Monster? And then there's movies down there, so we're going to be looking for a while. Little Rascals. Do I have that one? I don't know if I want the newlyweds with Nick and Jessica, because Jessica kind of annoyed me, but Nick was pretty cool. But there is a scene in there that says, is this tuna or is this fish? And I kind of like it. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I found a GTA Grand Theft Auto San Andreas book that I read for the VHS series. Okay. I hate when there's no prices because no price, no sale for the PDA. It's an older version of a clarinet, I think. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt this camera because you know what's going to happen. Not be a good camera. And it probably not even work, so... Yeah. You want to see the weirdest Christmas tree ever? Yeah. Isn't that funny? Hey, it's almost tall as me. So at Sam's here, Sam's Club, and we usually don't order food, but my nephew just had to have a hot dog. And so the way to do it was really stupid. They make you use a machine, and then you wait until they call your number, and then you get your food. That is so dumb. So dumb. But, and then you can go over here for a quarter and get water. So dumb. I don't know why he couldn't just eat the samplers or just wait until we go to Saltia Gorns to get tacos, but whatever. We got a watcher and a hot dog. I don't think it's a good idea to have that order thing by, where they order themselves because they have the cups right next to it and they could cheat and lie and say they ordered a small but get a large cup or they could lie and say, oh yeah, I paid for a drink, and then, and then pick up one of the cups anyways and drink it for free and not really pay for it. I think that, you don't have a lot of honest people in this world. This wasn't so easy to get out of a loot crate. So punch, punch it out. Can you believe this big giant ass bag of popcorn that is sweet and salty kettle corn was like six bucks at like at um Sam's Club like for reals? What was the point of being so expensive? Because for a small pack at and it's gluten free for people that need to know that. At Target when I got popcorn which was sea salt, it was a small bag, and it cost almost the same amount. So that's the big bag, and then you come with me. I just threw away the um, other bag, which is this one, and it was organic. So that's how big that one was, and it was really good sea salt.